Mate, the world is going crazy about these eight cylindrical things underneath the pyramids in Giza. Let's look into it, man, because it might not be what you think. Stop what you're doing. We legitimately have some breaking news. I am struggling to express in words just how significant of a discovery this is. A new study has been revealed to show massive pillars underneath the pyramid of Khafre in Egypt. Scientists have discovered something massive beneath the pyramid. Scientists made an earth-shattering discovery. What if I told you there's something massive hidden beneath the Great Pyramid? Hey friends, breaking news of the Pyramid of Giza. You are not going to believe what they found. Literally not going to believe what they've just found underneath the Khafre, the middle pyramid in Giza. So naturally, I was really excited when I saw that video and people were sending me TikTok videos of creators talking about it and that. I'm like, oh my God, we need to like, you know, everything we learn and been told about the pyramids, how they're built, we need to push it to one side because we need to start from the ground up. You know, and maybe, and I was thinking maybe this is one step closer to the, the idea that, you know, aliens or alien tech helped build these things. And my mind was going crazy, especially last night. I was up at two o'clock in the morning thinking to myself, well, maybe now the pyramids could be the, the conductor of like natural atmosphere, like lightning going down these columns and being banked into these like, what was it, 80 meter square blocks, you know, maybe they're like the, the harnessing of the power. I don't know, man, but my mind was going like a bit crazy last night about two o'clock in the morning. So looking into the comments, I noticed that so many people were saying, well, where's the source information to this claim? Where's the source info, please? Is inauthentic to not link the March 15th, 2025 press release mentioned in this video. I read the release and showed it. If doing your own research is asking too much, then at least be satisfied with your own lazy ignorance. It's like, damn, okay. Right? So I saw uh, he, he showed it. So this is what he's referring to here. This is this is the report that he's referring to. But hold up. Right? So I thought, well, okay. He's not linked any source material. I mean, it's an X post for Christ's sake, right? So I've managed to track down his original post and that is over on um, substack.com. Okay, Greg Reese, substack.com. Um, along with the video that he's posted on X. This is it here, yeah? Um, basically, what he's got you know, the writing here, I've read it, it basically echoes what was in the video, okay? So I was like, all right, well, that's his source, again, his own source. What about the, these these claims from uh, Corrado Belanga and um, Filippo Biondi, right? Um, because apparently there was this conference in Italy, right? So I've tried searching for this conference in Italy and it was here and it was actually sold out. It happened on the 16th of March, 2025. So I'm thinking, okay, cool. We're getting somewhere here now. So when I'm trying to Google this, right, to find out more information, I'm, I'm seeing like other articles talking about it, right? Um, this one just today. Massive underground structures found beneath Giza uh, pyramids spark ancient energy grid conspiracy theories, right? Um, the findings made public through a scientific paper and a press release issued on March 15th detail five identical multi-level structures connected by ge uh, geometric passageways near the base of the Cafe Pyramid, right? Even more striking were the eight vertical cylindrical wells encircled by spiral pathways descending 648 meters below the surface these wells ultimately merge into two massive cube shaped chambers which measuring 80 meters on each side a video from the reese report declared that the uh, revelation challenges the long-held belief that pyramids serve solely as a royal tombs instead it adds fuel to the fringe theories that has um, circulated for decades suggesting these structures may have had a mechanical or even energy producing functions. So, again, everything that I'm seeing on the internet reverts back to Greg Reese. So, I'm I'm starting to lose the plot here. I'm thinking, well, like can we just see this 
let he report a minute, right? Now, if we go back to his video here. Via MDPI entitled Synthetic Aperture. So NDPI, I Googled NDPI, right? That is where this apparently, um, this is. So I, I, I found it, okay. S synthetic aperture radar Doppler tomography reveals details of undiscovered high resolution internal structure of the Great Pyramid of Giza. Fantastic, right? So I downloaded the PDF. And by the way, I will link these <laughs> sources in the description so you can go and check it out yourself. Because let me tell you, mate, this PDF of their discovery is absolutely in incredible, right? Here's their report on the MDP. This is what he was referring to in his video. But this was actually published on the 19th of October 2022. And look, right? Look at the extensive research they've gone into this. This is incredible. However, what I did is I copied all that and I condensed it down, put it on chat GPT and took out basically the conclusion of it, right? And I double checked. I said, is there anything to do with eight columns? So nothing in this, and you can check for yourself, nothing in this talks about any eight columns underneath the pyramids. The only thing that is talking about on this is the five buildings within the pyramid. Near the base of the pyramid, five identical structures are seen, connected by geometric pathways. Inside each of these are five horizontal levels and a sloping roof. Below these five structures... That's real. That's on the report. Okay? The pictures bar the um, CGI a little bit, but these pictures here, that's on the report. That is. ...are eight cylindrical... This, this is where it goes a little bit mixy waters because I don't see anything. There's nothing written about these <clears throat> in the report. Is nothing. Right? So I thought, why is that? Why would you why would you go all to this length and then just come up with this extraordinary claim here? So I want to go into the technology of the SAR um, in a second, but I did want to show you this, what I found as well. This was a month ago, a, a lady on YouTube called Nicole Chicolo. I, I think that's how you pronounce her name. Maybe it's not. I'm not too sure. Good evening and welcome to the Expedition Channel, the official channel of the Kefron Project. This is an announcement in my role as Head of Communications for the Research Project. I will now read the official press release of the Kefron Project, which has just been sent to the Italian and international press. Here it is, regarding the Giza Plateau. A vast underground city has been discovered beneath the pyramids. It is the mythical Amenti. This discovery was made possible thanks to SAR satellite data and archaeological research. As part of the Kefren Research Project, Dr. Armando Mai, Professor Filippo Biondi, and Professor Corrado Malanga have invited both Italian and international press to a special conference, held both in person and online, to reveal the results of an innovative and groundbreaking study that has redefined the boundaries of satellite data analysis and archaeological exploration. During the press conference, for the first time ever, structures believed to correspond to the legendary halls of Amenti will be revealed. Using synthetic aperture radar SAR, technology, combined with the new Doppler tomography methodology, the research team has made a series of unprecedented discoveries, located precisely beneath the Giza Plateau. This technological innovation involves converting photonic radar information into phononic signals, vibrational data within the acoustic band, thus enabling the exploration of deeply buried structures beneath the Earth's surface. The main discoveries to be presented include the identification of structures, rooms, and corridors within the Pyramid of Kefren, 
The discovery of an extensive network of vertical shafts, estimated to extend at least one kilometer deep beneath each great pyramid, which appear to serve as access points to this underground system. The existence of vast chambers beneath the Earth's surface, comparable in size to the pyramids themselves. A remarkably strong correlation between the layout and characteristics of these underground chambers and the legendary halls of Amenti, as described in ancient myths, including those associated with the god Thoth. So that was like a month before the press conference. The press conference has already been and gone now. So where's the actual official report? Not the 2022 report that Greg Reese was talking about and, you know, told us that that's the report where we got this information because it wasn't. That report was talking about a scan of the pyramid back in 2022, you know, um, which revealed the stacking of these like, you know, buildings inside the pyramids nothing to do with the columns okay so the only thing that i've got near that is um back in may 14th 2024 because the lady a second ago she was talking about the sar technology mixed with the um filippo um what's his name now beyondy technology the software that he created to work in com in combination with the sar technology which uses the sar and then adds on the like you know vibrational wavelengths that you can pick up right so um but the only thing that i've seen close to that on the internet is um this report here scientists are investigating a puzzling underground anomaly near the, the giza pyramids right Archaeologists in Egypt have discovered an anomaly beneath a royal graveyard near Giza, 4,500 years old Great Pyramid. Basically, they found an L-shaped structure 33 feet long and buried 6.5 feet deep. Okay, so this is what they found using this, um, this technology. Have they used that and ran with it I i'm not too sure tell me what you think i hope that there is these eight columns that go two kilometers into the ground i hope that they go do you know what we've we've mentioned it a month ago we've talked about the press release we've done the press release in italy here's the actual report not the 2022 report that greg reese is talking about in his video that claims to have the columns in it which it doesn't tell me what you think let me know if you get any more information. Please, I want to cover this more because it's really interesting. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. Take care. Bye-bye.